So let's start with the summary of what we'll be covering in this project. Um, so we'll start with a brief introduction to the inverse design method and then we'll be looking at using manual redesign to improve the performance of an axial fan using best practices in inverse design. Um, then we'll see how the performance of this redesigned fan can be enhanced even further through the use of automatic optimization with inverse design. And uh, finally, we'll wrap up with some concluding remarks. So let's start with an introduction to the idea behind the inverse design approach, which we use throughout this project. And uh, as you can see in this workflow, uh, these are the inputs that are used by the inverse design method to give us the final blade design. And so apart from some basic parameters, um, these blade loading inputs are really flow related. And so once you have a good understanding of your specific flow issue, whether it's uh, tip leakage, profile loss or flow separation that you are dealing with, it's possible to come up with guidelines on the optimum blade loading to tackle each of these issues. And actually this know-how has generality which makes us suitable for uh, all your axial fan applications. And so what's interesting then is that you only need to rely on your knowledge of flow physics and then this method will uh, work for you regardless of your fan size or which speed speed number regime it falls under and so this makes the uh, the entire process very intuitive and removes any empiricism that's commonly seen in conventional design methods so in terms of fan applications we have covered a very wide range and uh, here are some of the examples that we have worked on so propeller fans, radiator fans, large scale ventilation fans, centrifugal fans, motor cooling fans and uh, this is another motor cooling fan for electric vehicles and so it's a special compact design and then rotor stator fans for CPUs, uh, mixed flow axial fan stage for uh, military vehicle cooling applications and uh, this is a very ex interesting example of a fan for an avalanche safety backpack and this was developed together with Arc'teryx and uh, this is a centrifugal fan for air conditioning and uh, this is actually a Daikin case study and finally a Sirocco fan on which a paper was published and with that let's now jump right into the project So now let's uh, look at the design of fans in a bit more detail and uh, this chart here provides the relationship between speed number and the diameter number as experimentally found by Cordier. And this relationship which is called Cordier line in the literature uh, represents sort of optimum fans with high efficiency. And so there is a relationship between the speed number or diameter number and the type of fan to be used whether axial diagonal or radial in order to obtain high efficiencies and so across the speeds, uh, speed number range fans are subject to various flow phenomena and uh, loss mechanisms which are dominant in that particular range so for example tip leakage profile losses and flow separation usually take priority when it comes to axial fans which is the uh, topic of this project today. So the question then is whether it's possible to come up with a set of optimal gui design guidelines based on these fluid dynamic considerations of reducing the dominant flow losses for your axial fan. And this is actually what we aim to explore through this project.